Sierra Hotel in the Echo Lima Delta. The Shield. Every WWE World Title reign of the Shield members, ranked from worst to best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Suhaib and you are watching Wrestling Fact. The members of the Shield have had 11 world title reigns in WWE, and here is each of them, ranked from worst to best. The trio of Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, known as the Shield, was one of the most dominant WWE factions ever. Together, they had many great rivalries and everyone expected them to become huge stars instantly. Their constant reunions ruined the faction for some, but they will still go down as one of the best stables ever. After finding tremendous success as a trio, the three men found a lot of success even after the split. All the three wrestlers won world titles in WWE with Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins winning multiple. While there are some great title reigns, they also had a few stinkers. Number 11 Roman Reigns, WWE Championship minus 2015 First Reign. Seth Rollins was having a run of his life with a long WWE Championship reign in 2015. However, he was unlucky as he got injured and had to vacate the title. This opened the door for a WWE Championship tournament which was held across several weeks on Raw and the semi-finals and final took place at Survivor Series 2015. In the final match, Roman Reigns defeated his former Shield brother, Dean Ambrose to win his first world title in WWE. However, there's not much to talk about this reign as it lasted just above 5 minutes as the money in the bank contract holder. Sheamus hit the broad kick on Reigns and cashed in his contract to win the belt in end Roman Reigns celebrations early. Number 10 Seth Rollins, WWE Championship minus 2016. After returning from injury, Seth Rollins quickly challenged Roman Reigns for the gold at Money in the Bank 2016. After a solid affair, Rollins managed to defeat Reigns and won back his WWE title which was a great moment. But just like the aforementioned Reigns title reign, this one also had a quick ending as Dean Ambrose, who had won the mid contract that same night cashed it in on Rollins and won the title. At least. We had a great match here between Reigns and Rollins and also the fact that every SHIELD member held the title that night is also cool. Number 9 Roman Reigns, WWE Championship minus 2015 to 2016 Second Reign. This reign came at a time when fans were critical of Roman Reigns push and WWE desperately wanted the fans to cheer him. On the December 14th edition of Raw in 2015, Roman challenged Sheamus in a title versus career match. The odds were stacked against Reigns, but he managed to come out on top and won the WWE title a second time. Following the title win, we had a Reigns versus everyone storyline where he was forced to defend his title in the Royal Rumble match. Triple H made a surprise return in the Rumble and won the match in the WWE title, which set up his match with Reigns at WrestleMania 32. Number 8 Roman Reigns, WWE Championship Current Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar started a feud once again in 2021, this time over Reigns Universal Championship. After failing to capture the title from Reigns, Lesnar won a fatal five-way at day one to win the WWE Championship. This set up a title unification match at WrestleMania 38 with Reigns Universal and Lesnar's WWE title on the line. In the main event of WrestleMania 38 Night 2, Reigns defeated Lesnar and won both the titles. However, Instead of being unified both titles are active as of now and Reigns is called the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. So far, 
not much has happened in the rain, and the only PPV match during this rain that has happened was a six-man tag team match where Roman Reigns with the Usos took on the team of Drew McIntyre and RK Bro. Number 7. Roman Reigns, Universal Championship Minus 2018. Roman Reigns challenged Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship multiple times in 2018. Finally, at SummerSlam, he defeated Lesnar and won the title and actually got a decent reaction from the crowd. Reigns promised to be a fighting champion and instantly defended his title against the first ever Universal Champion, Finn Balor. For the rest of the title reign, Roman worked with the newly reunited Shield and had a feud with Strowman and also went on to have a Hell in a Cell match with him. However, just when things were going good for Reigns, he had to relinquish his title due to leukemia diagnosis. Number 6 Seth Rollins, Universal Championship Minus 2019 First Reign Seth Rollins was one of the most popular wrestlers among fans in 2018 and the start of 2019. Fans were tired of seeing part-time champion, Brock Lesnar and wanted a fighting champion, and who better to play that role than Seth Rollins? Rollins won the 2019 Royal Rumble match and captured the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 35. The reign had a good start with Rollins having a great match with iStyles at Money in the Bank. However, after that he started a feud with Baron Corbin and that's when the reign started to suck. The feud with Corbin was extremely boring, and it went for far too long. Also, Rollins was paired with his real-life girlfriend, Becky Lynch on TV and their segments were unbearable at times. In the end, WWE had no choice but to put the title back on Lesnar. Number 5 Seth Rollins, Universal Championship Minus 2019 Second Reign after having a disappointing first reign, WWE decided to put the title back on Rollins. He won the belt from Lesnar at SummerSlam 2019 in a great match. He then went on to have a pretty good feud with Braun Strowman, with whom he also won the Raw Tag Team Championships. However, just like his first reign things got worse after his first feud. This time, he had a rivalry with the hottest thing in wrestling then, The Fiend. Rollins did try to make the feud work, but the two didn't have chemistry at all and as a result we got one of the worst matches ever at Hell in a Cell. Rollins lost the belt at Crown Jewel in their second match, much to the delight of fans. This reign was certainly better than his first, but not by much. Number 4 Dean Ambrose WWE Championship Minus 2016 Dean Ambrose won the WWE Championship in an unforgettable fashion at Money in the Bank 2016 when he cashed in his contract on Seth Rollins. Following this, Ambrose defended his title against Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns at Battleground. The battle between the former Shield brothers was good but fans believe it should have taken place at a bigger stage. Ambrose also defended his title against an unusual opponent, Dolph Ziggler at SummerSlam. Fans were excited about the match, but it ended up being disappointing. The end of the reign came at Backlash, where he lost the title to Ice Styles in a fantastic match. Overall, the reign was decent, but it definitely could have been better. The length of the reign was also not that long and after losing the title, Ambrose went back to the mid-card. Number 3 Roman Reigns, WWE Championship Minus 2016 Third Reign This reign started off in a very disappointing fashion. Reigns defeated Triple H in the main event of WrestleMania 32 in a very barring match. He also got a very negative reaction and fans were just not ready to accept Reigns as a top star. The I'm not a good guy, I'm not a bad guy, 
I'm the guy. Promo by Reigns after winning the title was also very lame and didn't help proceedings. Despite the bad start, the rain got better with time as Roman had some quality matches. His feud with iStyles was great, and they had two bangers at Payback and Extreme Rules. The match where he lost the title against Seth Rollins was also fantastic. Even though the rain wasn't very long, it did what it had to do and proved that Roman can have great matches too. Number 2 Seth Rollins WWE Championship Minus 2015 During the main event of WrestleMania 31 between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins cashed in his money in the bank contract and won the match to create one of the most unforgettable moments in WWE history. The architect went on to have a stellar reign with many great rivalries and great matches, both on TV and PPV. However, Rollins looked quite weak during the reign and lost way too often. He was even pinned by Jean Security on TV. Unfortunately, the title reign came to an end before planned as Rollins had to relinquish the belt due to an injury. Number 1 Roman Reigns, Universal Championship Current Roman Reigns is currently having the run of his life. After being hated by the fans for a long time despite being a babyface, Roman Reigns finally turned heel on his return in 2020. He quickly won the Universal Championship in a triple threat match involving Braun Strowman and The Fiend. Since winning the title, Reigns has completely reinvented himself and has constantly been the sole reason to tune in to WWE programming. He has had several great feuds against the likes of G. Uso, Kevin Owens, Daniel Bryan, Edge and many more. At 626 plus days as of now, he has been very dominant in his reign, and he's showing no signs of stopping. 806 Current Universal Title Run In WrestleMania 38 he beat Brock Lesnar and won WWE Championship and become undisputed Universal Champion. So what do you think he would beat Roman Reigns for the undisputed Universal Championship? Comment below your thought thanks for watching see you guys in my next video.